Hi Des, so this is going to be kind of a continuation of yesterday and that the last bit of the video I'll be finishing off yesterday's video, sort of. The main focus though is going to be on this. Women have NASA Lego Idea set. So I have explained it before but Lego Idea is basically Lego experimenting with sets. They will basically create a set and see if people like it, and if enough people like it, sometimes they'll continue that set. An example of that is the Minecraft LEGO sets. Um, originally, LEGO had no reason to use Minecraft at all. Someone created the LEGO idea set, so they tried it out, and it sold like crazy, so they continued to use it. Um, I've already put this set together. Um, as I picked them up from the floor where I was hiding them. Alright, so I will just start off with, um, I'm going to kind of do them in chronological order, sort of, but um, anyways, we have people like Nancy Roman, or Roman. My problem is I'm not really good with pronunciations, and I probably should have looked up those videos to make sure about when or how to pronounce certain names. But anyways, so Nancy was into astronomy at an early age and her contribution to NASA was in telescopes. Her most famous one was the Hubble Space Telescope, which has kind of been, she's been dubbed the mother of Hubble. And um, anyone who has done any sort of astronomy in the past you know, almost 30 years, has used the pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope. In fact, almost some, some of the most famous pictures are from Hubble. Um, going on to Margaret Hamilton. She got into computer programming before computer programming was even a profession. And the code that she helped develop is what basically saved the Apollo 11 astronauts on their way to the moon. See, the computer actually had a misfire and her code let the people back on the ground find out what was going on and be able to tell um, Aldrin and Armstrong what to do. Um, the next two are Sally Ride and Mae Jeninson? Jim, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmyson. Again, I'm horrible with pronunciations. But, um, Sally was the first American woman in space, and May was the first African, Amer African woman in space, yeah. Um, both of them were American. Um, anyways, Sally... When, like I said, she was the first one, first American woman in space, and became a professor afterwards where she started kick-starting um, the basic initiative for getting younger people involved in space. May, um, again, being the first African American woman in space, she... Um, her biggest contribution right now is she is the president of the 100-year Starship program, which, um, if anyone finds that name familiar, they probably also have a, a link to, um, the Warp Drive initiative, or NASA's Eagle Works Warp Drive. Um, so yeah, overall, a really great set. A, um, I would say it's it it, it is kind of simple-ish. There's a lot of interesting techniques that you don't normally see in Lego sets. But the main thing is it gives a big amount of history into an area that's not really looked at all that often, which is very sad. But like I said, overall it's a good set. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's into space to check it out. It's about $25, $30, but, you know, this is something that you could, like like almost every Lego set, you could always put it as a 
you know, memorabilia item on the wall. But you can use it as a teaching tool. You know, you can teach people about these different women who have been in the space program. Um, so that's my spill on that. Um, now on to part two. So in the last video, I did not ask a question at the end, which I know we don't have to do that every single time, but um, I want to keep this trend going, so why not? So, question I have for you. If you could have a time machine, where would you go? And by where, I mean when. Um, and if you're in a TARDIS, it could be both. But um, anyways, um, where would I go? Hmm. Part of me wants to say either ancient Israel to see what exactly things looked like. So I know we have a pretty good idea, but at the same time, it's one of those where there's a lot of miscommunication on things and also a bunch of misunderstandings on a lot of things. Um, another thing would be maybe going back and to like the Ger Germany before the um, Romans conquered it, and maybe up to Britannia before the Romans conquered it, mostly because of the Celts and us being Shaw, we um, have Celtic history. And I would kind of like to see what our ancestors acted like. I know that's kind of weird, but you know, curiosity. Curiosity invented the time machine, right? Or was it the Schrodinger box? Yeah, we'll figure that one out eventually. So, yeah, that's the question. If you had a time machine, where would you go and why? And mainly, when would you go? Um, and as a parting joke, I will say, how many videos to take Desiree to make a joke? I don't know, we're still counting. Love you guys. Bye. Talking about time travel can be one of the weirdest things, but I understand exactly what I mean, but I don't know if I explained it right.